I want to thank you again for coming forward and alerting us to this individual. Be sure we're going to put this guy away. All right. Let me anything I can do to keep these creeps off the street. I mean, he's ruining my business. You know, this stuff, it's so easy to counterfeit these uh, Just days. a heads up. Because of your knowledge in the sports memorabilia field, you'll probably be called into court as an expert witness. Yeah, sure, no problem. You got my number, but just in case, you ain't on that for yourself, sweetheart. Give me a call anytime. <sighs> well, my apology. <laughs> I'm usually very careful about this sort of thing. <laughs> it's been a crazy week. Um, and, and, you know, you didn't ask, and people usually ask, so... I want one. Uh, you know, you really don't need one of these. I mean, if you're not a serious investor, or if it's not for resale, uh... I mean, you said it was for your father, right? Was, he's a super fan. It was a present. You know, I just kind of figured he'd keep this for the rest of his life, you know. Thank you for your prompt response. And again, we appreciate your help on the last case. Hey, no problem. Glad I can help you out. There are a few things that are confusing us at the moment. I'm sure with an expert eye like yours, you can tell these items are bogus. Yeah. Sure I can. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, definitely this baseball card. It's fake. What concerns us is that we purchase these items from your website. I mean, if we were to get a search warrant and go through your warehouse, would we find a lot more like these? You know, um, when I first started my business, it was legit. It went fine for a while. But this business, it's, uh, it's high demand. It's a diminishing supply, and I, I, I just, you know, augmented my inventory just a bit. I, I mean, just just a little bit at first, you know, and then it I, got out of hand. And cheating money out of a lot of people uh, eventually seemed okay. You know, should I be talking to a lawyer or something? I mean. What happens now? We're U.S. Postal Inspectors. We don't really hug things out here. So yeah, get a lawyer. So I'm under, under arrest? Roger that. I want to thank you again for coming forward and alerting us to this individual. Be sure we're going to put this guy away. Good. I mean, anything I can do to help get this creep off the street. I mean, he's wrecking my business. I mean, this stuff is so easy to counterfeit these days. Just a heads up. Because of your knowledge in the sports memorabilia field, you'll probably be called into court as an expert witness. Yeah, sure. No problem. You got my number? I mean, just in case here. Here's my card. Give me a call anytime. Oh, let me see what you got here. Yeah, well... <laughs> My apology. <laughs> you know, I'm usually very careful about these sort of things. Uh, it's been a crazy week. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, 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 and you didn't ask, really. You know, people usually ask for... I want one. Yeah. You know, you really don't need one of these. I mean, unless you're a serious investor or you, you plan on them for resale. And, and you, you, you said it was for your father, right? A present. Yeah, he was a super fan. You know... <laughs> I, I just figured he'd be to keep this for the rest of his life. Thank you for your prompt response. Yeah, sure. And again, we appreciate your help on the last case. Oh, sure. Hey, you know, I'm glad to help. There are a few things that are confusing us at the moment. But I'm sure with an expert eye like yours, you can tell that these items are bogus. Yeah, well, let's see what I can get for you. Yeah, definitely. This baseball card, that's fake. What concerns us is that we purchase these items from your website. Now, if we were to get a search warrant and go through your warehouse, 
Would we find a lot more like these? <laughs> Guys, you know, uh... <sighs> Alright, look. You know, when I started my business, it was legit business. And, and, and things were fine for a long time. And then, um... Look, this business is high demand and diminished supply, all right? And I just, I had to augment my supply a little bit to keep, to peak up, oh, to keep up with the, everybody else. And it got out of hand. And cheating people out of a lot of money eventually seemed okay. No, I didn't. You know, should I, should I be talking to a lawyer? I mean, what next? We're U.S. Postal Inspectors. We don't really hug things out here. So yeah, get a lawyer. So I'm, I'm actually under arrest? Roger that. <laughs> <laughs>